Hello world! I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things. Welcome to day 14 of my ultimate retro advent calendar. Day 14 brings us something that I purchased a while ago that helped me to completely embrace the retro lifestyle and retro world. What could I be possibly talking about? Well, let's head over to the table and take a look. Oh, um, wait. Table is kind of full of another Christmas project. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to look over here to see what it is. But before we do that, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. So, as I said, this is something I purchased a while ago. And it is thanks to this that a whole segment of the retro population reached out to me and uh, really kind of shaped my path of where I am today in doing my YouTube videos and being involved in the retro community. And uh, yeah, just uh, helped me have a lot of fun and bring back a lot of memories, even though this is something I didn't actually have as a kid. It's something close to what I had. Anyways, what am I talking about? Well, now we can look over here and see what I'm talking about. I am talking about, of course, my Radio Shack TRS-80 MC-10. Not a computer I ever used or ever had as a kid, but when I got back into the retro collecting, I bought it because it was a TRS-80. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that the very first computer I ever owned was a TRS-80 color computer too. So I thought, hey, this looks like a fun little computer to uh, get a hold of and play around with. So I got it and I made a video about it. Well, after I released that video, L. Curtis Boyle reached out to me to let me know about Coco Talk. So I immediately became a fan of watching Coco Talk. I even appeared as a guest on it to talk about my history with the TRS-80 color computer and uh, getting back into collecting. A little while later, I became a regular panel member on Coco Talk, which by the way, is now called the Coco Nation Show. I run the Game On Challenge every week on the show so, speaking of games, let's see this little beauty in action. All right, well, here we have a little game called Zombies. It's a little strategy game where you just run around the screen and you're being chased by zombies. You have to make them run into things. So you may notice that the screen is a little bit fuzzy. That's because uh, my MC-10 is actually one of those rare computers that looks way better on a CRT than they do on anything else that I own. I'm dead. Anyways, um, there, now I'm dead. You'll also notice that I didn't have a uh, tape deck hooked up to this when I was showing it to you. It's because I uh, currently have it hooked up to a CD. A while ago, I did a video where I burned a bunch of games onto a CD to try loading off of that. Works great. 